I think I make a positive impact by making them believe in themselves. Uh, I get a lot of students year after year, they're very defensive when it comes to math and they always have this, uh, I'm not good at math, I don't like math, but I think that's more of a defense mechanism. And when all of a sudden they're coming and telling you how much they like the class, how much they like the subject because they get it, that is great. I think it's really important that kids have the opportunity to express themselves, not only as writers and mathematicians, but as singers and dancers and actors because there is so much they can learn about themselves and what they're capable of when they step in front of an audience. Kids' confidence rises when they work together as a team and create something that makes others happy. And there's nothing more thrilling as a teacher than seeing a child's face beaming with pride. My deaf students are fully included in general education and my biggest goal and the way I think I impact them the most is to work with the general ed teacher and the interpreters to ensure that they have equal access in the classrooms. I also go into the classrooms and I teach sign language to all the hearing kids in their class. I offer a free sign language class at night here to the staff and the families and the community. And I think that since students have a hard time with communication, the more people in their environment that they can communicate with easily makes their self-esteem higher and the kids are more successful. In the beginning of the year, I tell my students that when I was in eighth grade, I failed my first trimester in U.S. history. I teach U.S. history, so I teach them resilience, that if they fail, they can get back up again. As long as they persevere through uh, whatever's going on at home, whatever's going on at school, they need to just persevere and not give up. I've had students who have gone through a lot of emotional problems, and I've given them a vehicle to rechannel some of that emotion and to find more positivity in their lives, even while they're suffering the effects of depression and anxiety. And I think it's about just getting to know each individual student, getting to know their talents, getting to know what they want out of life and what their goals might be. And I try to help them along that path. I think that I make a positive impact by just showing that I care. Building those trusting relationships, those caring relationships are what really is the center of teaching. And I think by getting to know my students and showing them the authenticity of how much I care about them, how much that I care about their future, is how I make a positive impact on their lives. Relationships matter for students, in my mind, as much as rigorous and dynamic learning opportunities. When students confront challenging tasks with the support of an adult who believes in them and take the time to coach them, they will be successful. I believe I make a positive influence by being that teacher for as many students as I can every day. I look forward to and relish building relationships with students and help them see things about themselves that they didn't see before. I hope I make a positive impact by really modeling kindness and patience and collaboration. I feel that when I, my students move on from this classroom, I want them to know that they had a great time, that they learned a lot, they were challenged, but that most importantly they walk away just knowing that they have great worth and they're going to go into the world and do great things. My hope is that when they walk away, that they come back and visit me and that I know down the road that whatever path they choose, that maybe I've had a little part of that.